In today's video, we'll be giving the Civic a paint job with a meaning. Let's get started as to why I'm repainting it. Welcome to the channel everyone. If you're new here, definitely consider subscribing. So the reason I'm sanding down such a beautiful paint job and repainting it is for autism awareness. Now once I sand it down and repaint it, it's going to stay the way it is because I'm not sanding truck bed coating down. This will be Raptor lined crush orange. It'll be very bright and I want it to stand out for autism awareness. Uh, we've got the truck bed coated dash. Uh, truck bed coated lip kit and side skirts and then we'll have the entire thing truck bed coated orange. I will be doing the door jams and under the hood and engine bay um, but in this video it'll just be the outside going orange and then we'll work from there. As for the valve cover and turbo compressor uh, I'm actually going to be hydro dipping those or having a buddy hydro dip those for me with the autism awareness puzzle pieces and it'll match my headliner if you haven't already seen my headliner i'll show you real quick so here's the headliner and that's the theme that i'm going with and it'll be on my valve cover and turbo also real quick i want to give a huge shout out to send format for making me this awesome texas honda channel shift knob for the civic uh, if you guys have fan mail you want to send uh, P.O. box will be in the description below civic ended up making 194 wheel horsepower on the dyno I did it on the Texas Honda channel, so if you haven't checked it out, link will be in the description. Go check it out. Um, but yeah, basically, we'll be painting it orange. So I'm going to sand this down with 180 grit. Um, you can go anywhere from 80 to 180 grit. Scuff it up really well. Wipe it down with some isopropyl alcohol water mixture. Tape the windows up and paint it. I got a buddy in Colleen, Texas, who's going to let me drive over to his house and paint it in his house. So I really appreciate it, Aubrey. You're awesome. Pretty cool dude, and we'll get to check out his NSX as well. Um, I appreciate everyone who's hit the like button already and dropped a comment. You guys are awesome, and this is going to be a paint job that has a real meaning behind it. So, we'll go ahead and get started. So I went ahead and put some bolts up on the bumper to the fender to hold this in place while we remove the bumper quick releases. Um, I'm going to remove these so that when we go to paint it, these don't get painted. Uh, I'm actually going to repaint these a different color though. The gold won't match the theme. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off now that it's bolted up and then we can sand the rest. I'm gonna cut out a lot of this sanding process because it's gonna take us quite a while and I don't have that much storage space. Um, so basically what I'm gonna do is after it's all sanded, we'll be right back and I'll show you what it looks like sanded. All right, so I got the little helpers out here helping. They wanted to help sand on the car. Um, we've got a lot of it done. We still have the roof to do, but we got back here pretty much done, just the up there area that needs lightly sanded. Uh, the driver's side's pretty much done. And it did go pretty far down to the metal here, but it's really smooth. You don't feel a transition. 
Um, I'll just spot prime that, that way it doesn't rust, and then we'll paint over it. But have the roof to do, and then wipe it down. I'll probably just take it to the car wash and pressure wash it with the rinse cycle, and then wipe it all down. Uh, the wind blows a lot here, so it should be fine. It should dry by the time we get to clean, which is a 10 to 15 minute drive, depending on how fast we go. But we gotta take those pieces off on the doors, uh, the trims there, and then sand the rest of it, and it should be good to go. So I'll uh, get back here as soon as this is all done. All right, so there it is, all sanded, ready to go. I'm gonna take it to the car wash, uh, rinse it on the rinse cycle, just to get all the dust off. Um, I have to drive it on the highway at 75 mile an hour in between here, Copper's Cove and Colleen, Texas, so it should air dry. And then we will uh, tape up all the seals and everything like that, and the windows, mirrors, and I'll take the headlights out. We're gonna plastic up the engine bay for now, and the intercooler, and the wheels, all that good stuff. Should be good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and take it to the car wash. All right, just rinsed it off. That's what it looks like now. Um, obviously, once I go to paint it, it'll be all dry. I have a little bit of driving to do anyway, so we'll wipe it down again after we get to his house. We just got here, so we're gonna go over there and check out his NSX. He'll move that, um, and uh, we'll see his his nice little garage space he has here. So, I think he's gonna open the door. Oh, there it is. There's the NSX. This thing's so nice. Look at that. J series, is what it looks like. J35. J35? Yeah. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, so you're definitely going to see this on the channel more than just this one time. Yeah, but yeah, it's pretty sweet. Up. Yeah, go for it. We'll move this out of the way and we're going to move the quads. Yeah. And, uh, Those are pretty fun too. Oh yeah. <laughs> this thing's super nice. But yeah, we'll move these so we don't get any overspray. We're going to break plastic and stuff, but I'll let you hear it start out. So good. <laughs> that thing's wicked. Alright. Take it up the street. some plastic in here but uh we'll go ahead and get off here real quick so we can get this thing prepped and uh i'll keep you guys updated all right so this is how i set the engine bay up basically covered the whole thing put the fenders on top it goes through the bumper covers the intercooler so it should be good we'll lightly set the hood down um, i will be painting the underside of the hood separate off the car i'll actually take it off along with the doors um and I'll do the door jams at that time, just not in this video. So yeah, I'll just set that down and then I'll keep it cracked. That way I can get like these edges right here and stuff. So I'll make sure all of this is tucked down so it doesn't blow on there. It should be good to go on the front end. Um, I'll just do that to the windows, get the plastic on the windows, tape those up. I'm thinking about doing the trunk jam while, it, while I'm right here. And just pull this seal off it's really easy to do and then uh, put some plastic in there and hit all this so that way it looks good and I can always do the trunk later um, pull all these plastics out and do it at a later date I just want to get the majority of it covered right now so I'll go ahead and get to it all right so it's all prepped taped up plastic draped in the headlights and the intercooler and everything's good to go um, I have the gas lid cracked open so I can do the inside of there as well. And the trunk jams with plastic in there. So everything's good. I took the cover off here so we can paint underneath it. And the cover's over here. I'll do the Honda emblem as well. And you can see over on this side, it's all prepped and ready to go. We got plastic everywhere. That way there's no overspray on any of the important stuff. 
So it's basically ready. I'm going to wipe it down. Win regular Windex works, but I have isopropyl alcohol. Uh, it's 95% and it has some water mixed in with it, so it's not as potent, but it is still really strong. It'll remove any wax and grease. Just make sure it's prepped with 80 to 180 grit uh, prior to putting the bed liner on and everything should be good. So I'm going to wipe it down real quick and then we'll start mixing the bed liner up. Alright, so wipe the whole thing down with the isopropyl alcohol water mixture. Uh, we'll let it evaporate. We want this completely dry before we start putting Raptor Line on it. But uh, we'll go ahead and start mixing up the Raptor Liner. Alright, so it came with the picture. It's pretty simple to use. Raptor Liner filled up to here, filled to here with the hardener, and filled to here with the color. So it's pretty simple to figure out. We've got the Crush Orange, Orange Crush, whatever. Um, this will go in there, and this is what the Raptor Line bottles look like. And as they said, filled up to right here with Raptor Liner. So we're gonna go just go ahead and uh, add the hardener, which this is what the hardener looks like. And it has this really cool uh, pour spout. You just pull it straight up like this, and then you twist this part here off. And you fill it up to this ridge line right there. Now you're just gonna fill it up to this line right here. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, now from that line that we just filled up, we'll put the orange crush in. Just fill it up to the top. Okay, and now final instructions will be to shake it up really well and then we will screw it on this piece, which I'm just using a small Harbor Freight compressor. Um, it's like an eight gallon, so it does perfectly fine with this. We have the pressure set at I think 60 PSI, but that can be changed down. Um, but you'll just have to mess with the settings on the PSI. Some works better than others, so some people like 40, some people like 70, I don't know. But I'm gonna go ahead and shake this up, and then we'll get to putting on the first coat. All right, so there it is. Basically just shove it on like that, twist it on. And we're gonna start spraying the trunk piece and the grill piece first to kind of test it um, make sure that everything's good and then we'll start on the car now you'll want to make sure to wear a respirator and have ventilation because of the fact these are very strong fumes so keep that in mind we got the place plastic up so we're gonna go ahead and get started
All right, so I had just enough to do the entire car, one thick coat. Um, unfortunately, six was not enough because it's such a bright color. My G35 is a bigger car and it only took four. Um, but this, that was also a darker color going on a darker car, so it worked out fine. But this was a lighter color going over a darker car, so I actually needed to put one more coat over the entire thing, which I don't have any right now, so it'll have to be at another time. But as you can see, I got in there. Looks pretty good. Um, you can kind of see that there's some like darker areas. Kind of actually hard to see on camera. And a bug flew in the paint, but it'll be fine. Um, but yeah, it actually came out pretty nice. It's harder to see with the different types of lighting we have here. But I got the side pieces put on. I forgot to do those, so I did them last minute. And I had just enough to do them all. But uh, yeah, I think it looks really good. I will have to get more to do the door jams under the hood. Uh, the trunk jams are basically done, except for the trunk underside. But I didn't put a lot of coats right here since I'm going to have the duckbill wing here. So I'll paint the duckbill wing eventually to match all of this. But yeah, it came out pretty good. So I definitely recommend if you're going to go a lighter color with the bed liner, get the 8 uh, liters. This was 6 liters. And it was just barely enough to do what we have here. Um, one coat around over a darker color. If I had painted the car orange, then coated over the top of it, I'd actually have leftovers right now. But because I had to put so thick of a coat, I didn't have any leftovers. But you can see the texture of it. Uh, the lighting looks weird on camera here. This is about the color it actually looks, this orange over here. Not the orange that it was showing over there. It's weird how light plays tricks on cameras, but came out pretty good. So I'm going to finish putting it together. I've got 90% of it together. I still have some tape on the exhaust and stuff like that. And then we got to put side skirts on when I get home because they're all at home. Uh, and then the lip kit and then that piece because I only had the one that I brought with me. And I'm going to paint them a different color other than gold. Probably just black or something. But overall it's looking pretty sweet. So I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of this cleaned up. Um, get all this plastic thrown away. And maybe even put the uh, Honda emblem back on there because I painted it as well. Right here. So I'll put that back on and we'll see how it looks whenever it's all back together completely. So sit tight guys. And this is just shadows, so don't mind that. <laughs> it really screwed with me. But uh, just wanna give him a huge shout out. Thanks for uh, letting me paint it here. And uh, I gotta do one more coat, so we will be back here to do another coat, but that'll be a later date. Uh, I don't have any money right now to get the rest of the paint, but it's looking pretty good. So we're gonna go home. Um, definitely check his YouTube channel out. Link will be in the description. He doesn't have a lot of videos yet. I think he only has the one. Yeah, the one. The one of the NSX yeah. revving. Yeah. So um, he'll be doing videos on his channel. He does powder coating and stuff like that. So definitely go subscribe to him and uh, stay tuned for his content because it'll be coming out because uh, I think we're going to start doing some work together and stuff definitely like that. So. Definitely that. Definitely. Yeah. It'll be pretty sweet. He's going to be turboing the NSX soon. So there's a little turbo kit down there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm going to get back to the house. We'll get that stuff done and we'll see what it looks like in the daylight. So sit tight. All right. So it's the next day. Um, I put the side skirts back on and the um, bumper quick releases. Now the paint isn't fully finished. It still needs one more coat all the way around. As you can see, there's kind of a darker spot in this area. And if I get close, you can kind of see through it. Um, that's because it was a dark color and this is a light color going over it. I only got six liters, which typically would be enough, but um, I didn't take in the fact that, well, it's a bright color going over a dark color. Also, you see these yellow spots that's from water sitting on it so i don't know if it's ruined yet it's just had some dew sitting there so um you're not supposed to get it wet i think 24 to 48 hours after and i don't have shelter so if you guys are wondering about the paint booth that i had put up here uh the little makeshift paint booth is against our lease agreement so i had to take it down i ended up selling it to a buddy so yeah we're just gonna have to get a house with a garage as soon as our lease is up here but there's definitely some darker areas through there so I'm gonna order probably four more liters. That should be way more than plenty. But yeah, I still have to do the door jams. So I'll do that later on. But basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use an orange base coat, just spray can orange, and then uh, use the texture over it. Um, 
That way I don't have to waste as much material because going over gray, it was pretty difficult. But it's coming along pretty nice. I still gotta do those door jams and trunk jams and the engine bay, which the engine bay, I'm gonna have the hydro dipped uh, valve cover with the autism puzzle pieces and the turbo hydro dipped by a buddy of mine, um, Ryan James, really cool guy. Uh, I'll put a link in the description for his Instagram. He's gonna hook us up uh, and do the hydro dipping since I suck at it. Um, but there it is. It is now hashtag orange peel. Uh, a lot of people will probably make that joke anyway, so I figured I'd beat you to the punchline. But uh, yeah, it has a nice texture, like an orange, but a little bit different. And it's orange, so might as well hashtag orange peel it. When I get more done, I'll definitely upload videos. I have to dye the carpet next, so that will be a video I'm gonna do. I'm gonna dye it black, clean it, shampoo it, and dye it black. Uh, and I'll record that whole process. Love how it looks with the texture. And plus at car shows, kids like to go up and touch things. And a lot of them say, don't touch the car. Well, I'm gonna encourage people, they can come up and feel it. It has a nice little texture to it. And it's for autism awareness. I just wanted to say thank you for everyone who supports uh, what I'm doing. The autism awareness thing is a pretty, pretty big deal to me and to my family. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy this as much as I did. And my kids had fun helping me sand it, even though they ran off after I recorded them sanding. So I ended up having to do the rest anyways. But I'm gonna go ahead and get off here, guys. I gotta get back to the Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving to everyone. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, God bless and stay safe.